Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be doing the contract called Oil Deposit. And we are using the Zix 605R for the first part because we have 8 slots of cargo and the second part we're using the Kenworth 963 and we will be towing a coiled tubing trailer. So we need two sets of small pipes here. And this time I do have a shorter truck, which is going to help to make this turn, but also I took it... What? Apparently that trailer spawned inside my truck, okay. I probably should have uh, kept going outside, that trailer kind of scared me, but... Well, this works. But yeah, this should be a little bit easier this time to make the corner. And we also don't have the generator in our way. So there we go, we gotta pick up a drilling equipment trailer. And then we gotta bring the coiled tubing trailer. So we're gonna hit the ferry again. And hopefully uh, all goes well. Seven hundred and fifty, and there we go. We're on the next side. See, so yeah, we're going to be hauling eight slots here, and then we'll do the uh, the big coil tubing trailer, which you guys can actually see. I'll stop. Yeah, right here we have the Kenworth, and the trailer's right behind that building, so you can probably see a little part of it there. Yeah, you can see some of it. All right, let's get this. Uh, we need. Oh, we need drilling. Okay, drilling equipment. So there we go, we got eight. So the, um, the Kenworth did get a boost. What would it be like? Um, this will come out on probably Monday or Tuesday. Probably Tuesday because I have a hard mode video on Monday. So, probably about three or four days ago, it was Friday when they uh, added some more torque. It went from 253 to 200 and... Oh, that was bad. I definitely got to go further outside here. Uh, it went from 253 to 265,000 horsepower, or uh, torque, sorry. And, yeah, that's a, a good look at the trailer right there. The tires did shrink a little bit. Uh, I'll probably make a video after this one about the new tire sizes. Or not not tire, new tire sizes, more basically the, about the saddle high. Because I don't think it's in any longer the king. Um, I haven't compared it, but I'm going to find out. Um, I guess it still kind of is, because you can have... Oh, we're, we're over the, the thing again, aren't we? Dang it. Because you can have 71 inch tires, let's just go in low minus, see if we can climb. Alright, we're going to attach further back. I'm not going to mess around with this too much. Oops. Ah. Uh, there we go. I kind of forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, because the uh, the trailer, the truck can have 71 inch tires, but they're only the stock tires now. So if you really want the uh, the 71s, that's what you got to go with. But more than likely, you're going to want to opt for 69s. The any of the MSH one, two, three, or four, just because it's going to be uh, probably a much better uh, option. So I don't know if that two inches is going to cause it to no longer be the king or not. We'll have to check it and find out. This is kind of annoying when it's uh, super uh, slow like this because we're kind of stuck on the other side, but I think once we get it over we'll be alright. Oh, 
So there we go. Kind of got free. I guess the uh, 605R is not great for this part, huh? At least not with eight slots. It can't really uh, make that corner. If it was, if it had a higher, uh, if it had a higher saddle, this would probably be much easier because then it could ride up over the road and be all right. But it's having trouble. There we go. Finally a tree on the left hand side. Now we can start getting some pull. That is what we need. So that took quite a while. I was hoping this first part would go really quickly, really smoothly. And I think now it will. That was probably the hard part right there. And uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, this will be kind of the part two once we get into the Kenworth and that's really what I wanted to do was kind of do some hauling with the Kenworth. Oh the legs are stuck again. All right nice. So maybe this won't go as smoothly as I uh, had thought. I was thinking this would go really nice and smooth on this first part, and then the second part with the Kenworth would be kind of a toss-up, but looks like neither one of them are going to be too easy. Hopefully this first part doesn't bore you guys, and I guess if it does, hopefully just skip ahead, and uh, at that point, hopefully we're moving. Because I'd hate to have you not see the best part when we got the, uh, the Kenworth, or at least what I hope is the best part. That's kind of the whole reason that I wanted to do it, is to do a hauling video with the Kenworth. The last one I used the Mac, so actually the last two. Both the boat on a trailer, or whatever you want to call it, and uh, the what was it drilling equipment trailer, I for, oil, oil rig trailer, something like that, I forget. Oversized. I don't know. This is starting to drive me nuts though. See, maybe we can go up here and move. I don't know. I think it broke loose. Or maybe not. At least now we got a far, far object, so that helps. And there we go. We are free. Sort of. I think I gotta go more to the left. 
Oh no, what are we stuck on? Kinda hard to even tell. I mean, whatever, whatever works. We've already used up half of our fuel. Wow. Can't believe how hard of a time this thing's having to climb the hills. Oh that that right there was a bad choice. Let's uh let's not do that. Let's go hopefully up and around. Maybe knock down some of these trees. There we go. I think we're doing all right. I think now we're catching our, our uh, cargo on the tree. That's what's kind of hanging us up. Oh, did we make that turn? Nice. Oh my goodness, this is just a struggle everywhere, isn't it? We are on the struggle bus today. Oh no. All right, let me switch it back to day here. All right, back to day. I refueled so we have an empty roof rack. So if we need more fuel than this, well, I guess uh, we'll have to make another run out then. Honestly, if we need more fuel at this point, I think I'd probably just recover it. And, uh, do it that way. I guess the little hills in this one are really good at hanging up your trailer. I haven't had issues when I've used it in the past with the last uh, couple of videos. But that's probably because I was using the Kenworth and you got an extra 10 inches of uh, 10 inches of just tire height. And this saddle is actually one of the low high saddles. So it's one of the shorter ones. So we even got a couple more inches. So the other ones are probably like, I don't know, 13 inches taller or something. 14, I don't know. There we go. We kind of moved. I'm already ready to give up on this. The Zix is just struggling. Like I said, I was hoping this would be easy. And we could just uh, run through this mission, or at least the start of it, and then use the Kenworth and kind of have some good gameplay with that. But it's looking like this first part's not going to be easy, and I don't know if this is going to get any easier. I do think it will, 
we just have to get past basically this part. I know I just said that on the on the hill climb, but I think after this, it's it's decently flat. Um, there is a couple of like rocks, and we're going down the hill towards the swamp and stuff. But yeah, I think if we can get past this, we'll get a, a good chunk of the way out there then. Okay, let's see. So yeah, my guess is we'll we'll get stuck on the rocks going down, but I, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe if we can get going fast enough, it won't be an issue. I don't know. We might be able to hop right up over them. I don't. I don't really know. We'll see. I suppose I could probably just take the river down there. That would be an option. Dive right into the river and, or if you can call it a river. Oh gosh, that's too sharp. There we go. So here's where I think we might get hung up. Let's see. Oh. Sure enough, we got hung up on the tree. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so some of these rocks might hang up. We'll see. Oh, they kind of caught, but we were going fast enough to kind of skip right past. That's good. That is exactly what I was hoping for. So, that went great. Now I think we're good. It's uh, basically just swamp, so as long as there's no high centering areas in this swamp, we should be alright. Oh, and it is catching on a high centering area. Nice. Okay. Or maybe I shouldn't say high center. It's just grabbing the legs, basically. The legs are eating into the ground right there, and the rest of the trailer is going over it, so... Look at that tree bend. Okay, let's try it from a little further back then. That should give us slightly more pull. And there we go. So I think I gotta try and keep the, the uh, legs of the trailer in mind when I'm making these turns and try and get the legs to stay in the lowest areas if possible so that we don't high center at all so in this case instead of going straight I think I'm going to try and go a little bit around and ooh, they did skip through it a little bit I don't know if high is going to do, do us much good, but we're going to try. I mean, our drop point's just at this building now, so we're almost there. That beginning part was really a struggle, but now we're, I think we're good, mostly. Actually, if I, if I can get up on here, that'll raise our legs up a little bit. go. I think we've got it guys. Uh, we, were, we were really running out of, or using a lot of fuel there for a little bit. And I think at this point if we don't got it we'll just switch to the Kenworth. We'll pull that one all the way out here or at least attempt to. And 
we'll pick this one up and then drop it off if we uh, actually do end up getting stuck. But I wish I had pulled this mastodon a little bit more out of the way. So let's do that. I didn't mean to stop stop the engine, but I guess that works. Moment of truth. And we are good. I'm just going to pull forward a little bit more actually. Okay, small pipes, small pipes, drilling equipment. Oh, nice. Actually, that kind of screwed me over because I was going to drive, <laughs> drive through there to park, but uh, okay. All right, guys. So here we are back in our Kenworth. Let's attach this trailer and let's get moving. So also, if you guys don't know, the Kenworth is now a rear wheel drive. Um, I did make a video about all the changes, so if you guys are curious, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's out there. But yeah, the, the Kenworth is now a rear wheel drive instead of front wheel drive. Lost about two inches on the tires and we uh, gained 12,000 torque. So. Some nerfs and some buffs, but uh, overall, I think it it also gained a little bit of, uh, or at least I think, I could be wrong on this, I think the turning radius got a little bit better. It might have gotten a little worse. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's better, though, because it was, I mean, it, it was up there for the worst trucks as far as turning goes. Actually, is this... I think I'm going to try and go even further. Okay, there is a stump right there. I think, as long as there's not a stump in this this uh, little flower thing, which it looks clear. Okay, I think we're good. I didn't want to try and make that turn, so I think we're going to try and shoot this, this gap that we're... Oh, we're a little bit off. There we go. This gap, and actually I should probably go more wide so I can whip it, you know, around on the tracks here. But that's the gap we're shooting for. And it's a little bit slow, but I mean, if you're driving through the swamp with a huge trailer, like, what do you expect? So. I'm not, uh, not bashing on it at all for that. And hang on guys, I'm gonna close out of my Discord here quick. Actually, I lied. I paused the game and decided I'm, I'm just kidding. I'll just leave it. Hopefully I don't get any message. I, I sometimes forget to close out of it, so... And I can't... At least I don't know how, anyways. Um, to separate that sound, those sounds from the game sounds, it's kind of all blended together. Anything that would have came out of my, uh, my speakers kind of puts it all into one sound. Except for my voice. The voice and the game sound is, is separate, but... Yeah. Anyways. So, hopefully, this goes much better than the last one, but, as I said, guys, we are, uh, we are in a truck with, it used to be 10 inches taller, but now it's 8, and it used to be, or, uh, the saddle, we got one of the higher saddles of the, the high saddles, and the Zix has one of the low ones, so hopefully, that uh, helps us out a little bit. We're gonna try and go, the, you know, really wide up here, all the way up into this tree. I should have gone wider when I had the six as well, so I don't uh, don't end up clipping the side railings. But yeah, we did really good there. I 
I can definitely tell the truck seems to be, or I guess I haven't pulled this trailer up this hill yet, but it seems to be doing better. Uh, before it was struggling when I was climbing this hill, like, it was having quite a hard time. This time it seems quite a bit easier, or I shouldn't say quite a bit easier, but it seems like it's keeping, it's, it's keeping the movement going the whole time, so... I would say it's getting pretty close to the range where it should be at for power. I, I'd have to test it a little bit more. This is the first time that I've driven it since, since then. Since the power increase of a few days ago. I've drove it for short periods of time, but I haven't like hauled anything or, you know, anything like that. So this is kind of the first real test of it that I've had. Yeah, that looks like quite a cool view, I think. Got the trailer and then you got all the mountains off in the background and the ferry system. I just think it looks a lot better when you're driving like this, but obviously you can't see where you're going when you're driving like this. So it's uh... quite hard. I don't know, just trying to give you guys some different, different views and angles and whatever. I think this one's kind of cool actually. It's sort of just, you know, you're like riding along the side of the trailer. Can't really see what's up in front of us, but I've gone through this path quite a few times, so I feel pretty confident. And that's normally what you say right before you flip, if you guys are wondering. <laughs> Yeah, this thing is hauling this uh, with without really much issue at all, which is awesome. Because before I was complaining about the power, but now I think it's pretty close to where it probably should be. Again, I'd have to test it a little bit more. I think I'd have to, to drive up the, the more steeper hills or throw some more, uh, like... I know before I tried, I had the extended fuel tank on it and I tried to climb a hill I'm trying to find one around the size of both the one that I tried to climb but there really isn't much um, and I couldn't even climb like a, a 10 foot tall hill I don't know what the slope was but it wasn't like super steep it just it couldn't climb again that was pre uh, pre the engine torque boost or buff so the extra 12,000 might be enough to climb that now and as most of you guys probably know I don't really use mods I have a few times on PTS but that's about it that's basically just because I know I'm gonna be playing it over so sometimes if I like flip a few times or whatever and get frustrated I'll just bust out a mod or two and um, yeah, I haven't actually used any this time around, but it doesn't mean that I won't, so. I just, I have fun using the vanilla vehicles, so I, I don't, I don't know, I just like to use the vanilla ones, I guess. Yeah, even if it's PTS, I mainly use vanilla. I think last time I used like two or three. I think I used the... The Ares, which is a scout truck, to check on what's in some of the warehouses. And then I used... Uh, the Goliath 6. 
And I think I might have used one more, or maybe that was it. I can't remember exactly. But yeah, here we are, guys. I didn't think this would actually go this well. The Zix kind of struggled, but the Kenworth did just fine. So that's awesome. That's good news. Really good news. Still a little bit wide on the turning circle, but, uh... I mean, when you got a truck this long, I'm not really, uh... complaining too much about that. Power seems to be pretty good now. Oh, wow. There we go. 1,690 for experience. 13,550 for money. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as we're trying to grow the channel. And odds are, if you guys like this type of content, you guys like content that I've made in the past and also will like content that I will make in the future. So, as always, stay tuned till the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.